Hey guys, my name's Sarah, and today I'm going to be trying on 13 different Kylie lip kits. Okay, I wish you could see this right now. I have them all laid out here, and I have tissues and makeup wipes and a mirror. I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest. I have them set up here, and <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I I am first going to try on Damn Gina from the Coco Collection, and I wanted this so bad when it first came out. Alright, here is Damn Gina and all of Kylie's lip kits, or lipsticks, or even the glosses. They smell so good, they're just so sweet, and I don't even know what the smell is, but it smells so nice. Anyway, this is Damn Gina. Nice because it's pink and gold and sparkly and when it hits the light it's super sparkly and I love that. So now I'm going to use this little mini one from her birthday collection and it's called Birthday Suit. Okay, so here's birthday suit, and I actually don't hate this as much as I thought I would. Like, I could actually wear this and, like, totally get away with it. Usually I can't do browns or, like, nudes and stuff, but, like, this one actually does not look that bad. I have bronzer on right now as eyeshadow. Shout out Summer McKean. Girl. <laughs> I got this idea from you. But this lip color actually looks good with the bronze eyes or any kind of bronze eye look. All right, now let's see how if it comes off. How if, how if it comes off. Okay, so so far it came off with a tissue. I haven't had to use the makeup wipes yet, but I might when we get into the darker colors. Now, so now I'm going to be using LA, which is also from her birthday collection. Don't worry, I have, I have big ones too. They're not all minis, but the minis, if you're wondering, PSA, the minis of Kylie Lip Kits are very mini. Like they really are minis. Like look how small this is compared to the real version. Okay, so this one has 0.11 ounces and this one has 0 0.02. Like that's a big difference. So if you're looking to get the minis, they're like, there's enough in there that you can wear them a bunch of times, but they're very mini. So definitely get them like as testers and then buy like the real, the big version if you like them. So this is LA. So here's LA. It's definitely a more orangey, peachy nude. I don't know, I don't hate it. I like it, I'll wear it. I've worn it before, it's nice. Um, the problem with this one though is that it's really dry and I had to put a bunch of layers on before I could get like the full coverage. And it dries really quickly too. Yeah, here's LA. All right, shade number three is also a mini and it is Commando. Okay, so I forgot to mention that all the minis are velvets. None of them are matte. But um, LA dried down as if it was a matte, so. But here's Commando. I love this one. I love this color. It's such a nice, like, brownish, reddish nude. Like, I will definitely wear this a lot. Okay, now we are going to be going in with Apricot, and I also have the lip liner of this one, so I'll be using that. So here's Apricot. It's very peachy and pink and I wear this a lot and I love it so I know that it does dry down and it gets a little bit too dry but if you put it in your purse and you can reapply it, especially with a lip liner, the color won't go away and it's a very nice one. So here's Apricot. Alright, so color number six is Dolce K which is a little bit too dark for me but I also will be lining my lips for this one.
Okay, so my lip pencil is like dead right now. I have to sharpen that, but here we go with the matte Dolce K liquid lipstick. So here is Dolce K, which is very dark and very brown, and I could wear it if I had a darker eye look, maybe. Actually, I wore this to Christmas two years ago because I had just gotten it then, and my grandpa asked me if I was going goth. <laughs> Looks so much darker on your lips than it does in the bottle, which I was not expecting. I don't know, it was one of the first Kylie um, products I've ever bought and I learned that they're darker than they look online. Put on one, two, three, four, five. So far I've put on six colors and none of them have really stained my lips that bad, surprisingly. I've been using Neutrogena, Neutrogena Naturals um, makeup wipes, so this has been working so far. We still have seven to go, so we'll see how they hold up. Next is Malibu. Malibu. I have tried to like Malibu because it's a lighter brown, but... So here is Malibu, and it's kind of like a nude brown. I feel like I've been calling every single one of these shades nude brown, but like, I don't know how else to describe it. And I thought it was gonna be more pink, but it's really not. And next to Dolce K, they look exactly the same. This Coco K is like obviously pinker. Charm, Charm looks similar too, but Charm is pinker. And then Apricot is way more orange. I don't really know how I feel about Malibu. It's probably my least favorite out of the bunch. It's also a matte, I don't know if I said that before, it's matte. I don't know, you tell me. What do you guys think about Malibu? Okay, so still no staining of the lips. And next I have Charm, which is my absolute favorite. And I also have the lip liner, but I know this lip liner is absolutely dead. There is nothing, it's literally flat. I have to sharpen, I'm gonna sharpen these right after the video. Here is Charm, and it is a velvet, it's a mauve brown pink kind of color, and it's so nice, and I love it. It's pretty much the exact same color as my lips naturally, so I can wear it every single day. So this is the next day. Yesterday my camera battery died. We have a few more shades left. I'm actually wearing Commando right now, but I'm gonna have to take that off. We are going to go in with this color, which is Coco K. Coco K is a matte liquid lipstick. So here she is. And I absolutely love this one. It's definitely one that I can wear on a daily. Pretty sure it's one of her top sellers. I can see why. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some of the crazier, darker colors. And we are going to go in with this corally pink color called Party Girl. This is also a velvet. Whoa. Okay, wow. This one is definitely not an everyday color. It's very bright and neon. All right, and this one is staining my lips a little bit, a little bit harder to take off. It's the first one out of all of the ones I've tried on so far to stain. Now we're going to go in with this similar, it's not the same, it's a lot darker, but it's still similar. And it's called Surprise Me. This one is darker than Party Girl, and it's less neon, but it's still very bright. The nice red lipstick 
and it has blue undertones so that's good for cool toned skin like I am and I didn't need much of it to put on to make it this bright and this pigmented. I don't hate it. It's surprised me. I'm surprised. This one is making a mess trying to get off. It's all over my face. So that one definitely stained and it's all over my face. But we're gonna go, we're just gonna work with it. And next we're gonna go in with Love Bite. Okay, so my lip liners just aren't working today. They're all just flat. I'm just gonna go in with the actual matte lipstick. This one is way too dark for me and it's really patchy. It was like hard to apply. It's purple, it's dark, it's kind of vampy, vampire-ish. Okay, so these darker ones are definitely staining my lips. It's harder to get them off. And our last lipstick that we're going to try on today is Sprinkle and it's also one of the birthday velvets and it's a very purple it's not the same purple as this, it's a little more red. It's a little redder than Love Bite, but it's still purple. <laughs> this is an interesting color, that's for sure. I'm not sure when I would wear this, or what I would wear it with, not. As purple as it looks in the bottle, it's kind of more red. Not saying that's very practical, but it's a little more practical than how it looks in here. A lot of these, I think, look better on darker skin tones than on my skin tone because I'm so fair and so light. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, more videos and reviews of Kylie Lip Kits. Let me know. I'll do it. I'll see you next time.